Can the 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch base model handle 4K video editing? Let's find out. All right, so if you guys have watched some of my other videos, I like to do just some really simple tests on some of the new systems I get. This is the 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro and the important thing here is this is gonna be the base model, meaning that this has got eight gigs of RAM, it's got the i5 in it. I got it for $10.99, so $1,099. Usually it sells for $12.99, but I got it on a sale at Best Buy, so you can't beat that brand new. So one, basically 1100 bucks for a brand new iMac. So can this handle 4K video editing? And that's what I'm gonna show people today, so stay tuned for that. I'm just going to do some simple, I'm going to go through creating a very, very simple video edit, you know, edit and just going to go ahead and show you exactly what I do. So it's going to take a couple minutes to actually show you me creating the video, but I think that helps people because that helps people understand like the complexity of the video. Of course, I can do videos with just, you know, one, you know, one video, you know, with a couple like maybe audio files, it's going to render a lot quicker, or I can do, you know, layered video and things like that in 4K. So depending on how I create it, you know, you can kind of get a good sense of this is actually a good machine for 4K editing. I'm gonna do a simple one though, and then I'm gonna show you how long the timeline is, then I'm gonna go ahead and render it, and after I render it, I'm gonna show you how long it took to render, just so you can see if the base model with only eight gigs of RAM is actually gonna be sufficient for what you guys need. So stay tuned, let's get into it. I'm gonna share my screen here in a second, and we're gonna show you, is this good for 4K editing? Of course, 16 gigs is better, You know, the, the more expensive model will be better, but is this good enough to get it done if you're not too worried about the time? All right, so let's get into this. So I actually have my uh, MacBook Pro plugged in just so I have all the power. I don't think it really matters, but I want to make sure I have all the power of the machine. Let's go ahead and open up. I'm just going to use iMovie for this. Um, I tend to use iMovie. I know people use Final Cut Pro a lot, but I just wanted to use iMovie, and I moved in a bunch of 4K clips here, and these clips are meaningless. They're not really going to be the best focused or anything like that. The, the whole purpose of this video is just to show you the rendering times of a video that I put together. So let's just start going and creating the video right now. So as you can see, I'm just gonna start dragging in, actually, let me, let me drag all of them in at once, but let me go ahead and drag in some of them and you'll watch what I do here. Obviously 13 seconds, let's go ahead and move this back. So we're gonna just take some of these and pretend like we're putting in normal clips here. Let's just keep going. And then we're gonna do some overlays and some text stuff and, and these all have sound. I mean, even though the sound is not the highest quality, they do have some good, you know, some sound here, obviously, um, on them. I, you know, it's still a sound layer, so it's going to count as that. But let's just keep going, and we'll see what we can get this timeline up to. And then I'm going to move some of them up, you know, so we can do kind of maybe a picture in picture or something like that on some of this, just to show people, you know, what a normal video might look like. So as I add more of this in here, let me just keep going. And as you can see, we're up to about two minutes now, and let's keep just keep adding this stuff. I have a bunch of 4K clips in here. Let me just see, I have maybe nine more. So let me go ahead and add a couple more here. And we'll make this, I'm not sure yet, we'll make this you know, a good length. Let me go ahead and add this. Let's actually move this over here. Let's make this a pretty good length, just so that we can get a good idea of how long a render would take. Um, let me go like that. Let's see what we have left here. We have 13, 18, 19, 18. So let's go ahead and put a couple more in here. This is 18. And let's keep going here. And let's just put this last one in. So we have a video of about four minutes. That's going to give everyone a really good idea. Four minute video. It's actually 401, but still. So these last two, I'm just going to put overlays. Let's just pretend like they're going to be overlays on a video. So this one in particular, we'll put here. And we'll just pretend like, let's go ahead and shrink this a little bit. We'll pretend like, you know, as we're talking or something, this will fade in and fade out. So we'll go ahead and take care of that like that. Just do a little bit of fading in there. And then this one over here, we'll put in here over this video here. Click on this. And what we're going to do on this one is let's go ahead and do a picture in picture in this one. So we'll click on here. And we're going to go ahead and do picture in picture. As you can see, it's going to be right here. So this is just going to get, you know, tax us a little bit more. Again, don't worry about what this video is doing. Let's go ahead and just play it. Now, these are all 4K clips. I just want to show you how easy things are moving here. I mean, obviously, everything's playing back very, very smooth. So actually, let me just kind of go through that because I do want to just show people. You know, I have all 4K video editing in here or 4, 4K videos. And look at the actual scroll or look at the actual scrubbing here. I mean, this is 4K and it's perfectly smooth. I mean, I don't think it's dropping any frames. Even when I go into this picture in picture, look how smooth it is. And if you know, if you use the little uh, arrows, you can go one frame at a time here. As you can see, 
There's no staggering, no, it doesn't seem like it's hanging up anywhere. So to, the first thing I wanted to show people is just how smooth, like when I move this, obviously I'm not moving the camera too smooth, so it's hard to tell because I'm not moving a person or something. This is a good representation here, I think. So you can see it is picking up every frame as you scroll and scrub back and forth. So there's not drop frames. It's not like really trying to struggle. This has only got eight gigs of RAM again, and it's only got the i5, it's the base model. So that's that, and let's go ahead and just do a couple other things here in a second. We're gonna go ahead and put in some titles as well. All right, so let's go ahead and add some titles, and again, I'm not even gonna really type in anything here. They're gonna all, you know, these are gonna be some transitions. You can see how they work here. I'm just gonna throw them on the timeline just to have some titles inside my video. Let me go ahead and pick another one here. Just drop that down there. So you can see, you know, obviously I could change the text, but why should I? It doesn't really matter. It's just, it's still gonna render. The time's gonna all kind of work out. So let me go ahead and put a couple more over here. Let me put that one in there. And then we'll do even do a couple transitions in here. Let's just put a couple transitions in just to show people. Here's a cube transition. Let me put it there. And obviously that's gonna go ahead and do a transition between these two videos. So uh, let me go ahead and just do a fade to white, maybe right there. And as you can see, that's gonna fade to white, so you can see it. Anyways, you'll see that you know the video is obviously not that extensive. Let's just go ahead and just put in another title back over here. Pretend like we're gonna like say something like, let's subscribe to the channel. So there you go. So I think this is a good representation. It's got a couple overlays of different videos. It's got an audio track, um, you know, and stuff like that. We can we can add another audio track in here if we want. Let's go ahead. Well, we won't do that because I just want to go ahead and see how it is with the single audio track. But let's just go ahead and render this out now. And this is again four minutes here. You can see it's um, what does it say? It's actually three, you know, three fifty nine four minutes. So it's a four minute video. So how long is it going to take to render this? So what I want to do is I'm going to go up and and uh, start the rendering of this and then I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to come back and let everyone know exactly how long it took to render. So if I go to file here though you can see let's go it's video I'm going to just show you the settings just so you guys know what I'm doing. We're going to just render this in 4k see the resolution 4k right there quality will be high I'm going to pick that and then compress I'm actually going to do better quality there so you can actually see that it's I'm not I'm not you know going to cheap out on it I'm going to do the better quality there and then we're gonna go ahead and start this here in a second. I'm gonna click next and then we're gonna name it. And then we're gonna go ahead and I'll come back here and show you exactly how long it takes. All right, so it completed and actually it finished in five minutes and 51 seconds. So it actually was able to render a 4K, four minute timeline in five minutes and 51 seconds. Not too shabby. So here's the video here, if I right click on it. And uh, well, actually, let's just go ahead and just go like this. We can actually just play it really quickly. It did render it fully, just to, obviously, here it is down here, 358, four minute video. Let's go ahead and shut that though. If we go ahead and right click on this and we hit, I didn't want to do that. And we go ahead and hit get info. Over here we can see, let's move this to the middle. It is 3840 by 2160, so it's 4K. And the size of it is about close to 900 megabytes, you know, just under a gigabyte. So again, you can go ahead and see it was done in H.264 AAC codec. And it's about four minutes stereo. And uh, it took, you know, like I said, five minutes and 51 seconds, and it rendered a four minute video for the 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro base model with eight gigs of RAM. All right, so what did you guys think? You know, for the cost of it, again, for 1100 bucks, 1099, it's a great, great system. Now, is it perfect in any sense? No, you can definitely do better. I mean, the 16-inch the, the is going to be so much better for video editing and things like that. It just has a better processor, has, you know, just a faster CPU and things like that. And a lot of times, it obviously, comes with more RAM. I think it, the, the minimum 16 gigs. This is 8. So when you go with the, you know, if you're a professional video editor, you know, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is probably a much better choice. But this is about less than half half as much. So you know you're talking 2,300 bucks somewhere around there for that. This is going to be around you know that $1,100 price when you get it on sale. If you wait for a sale. So if you're like me and you just do videos, like you can see, I'm not doing anything crazy here. I'm just trying to you know create content that people might watch just to help them out. And you know if you're going to buy this, it might help you out. So if you're doing stuff like that, then this is more than sufficient. And I just wanted to show people you know what to expect if you buy this. And is this a good system for 4K editing? Of course, 1080p, this thing can whip right through. I might do a video on it, but it's, it's obviously very, very competent for that. That's not gonna be an issue. So at the end of the day, you know, I definitely give this system so far that I've been using it. I have you know, videos on unboxing and my first impressions and stuff, but I still give it a you know, five out of five stars just from the cost perspective, the build quality, and now the performance. 
Anyways, if you guys can watch my videos, I make about maybe three to four a week or so. Please subscribe. It's going to help the channel out. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.